Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect. Today, we're jumping back into some more Project Architect. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, today, we are jumping back into some more Project Architect, and uh, right off the bat, we are going to, we are going to be working on industrial foregoing. Um, we need to go ahead and get a mob farm going. I want to get enchantments set up and get enchantments up and rolling with this bad boy. Um, cause we can actually put enchants on our draconic stuff. Um, so having an enchantment system that is going to allow us to be able to do that. Well, I, I think it's definitely going to be worth it. So let's go ahead and get this set up with industrial foregoing. So we already have our mob spawner and we already have a great location here, um, for our mob slaughter factory and all that fun stuff. Um, the one thing we can do is probably convert our other farm over there into this farm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take all of this, the slaughter factory, which is producing all of this fun stuff, um, because we really don't need this dirt anymore, but it is gonna be generating. Let's go ahead and head up here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut the fans off for now. And I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna convert this over. Um, so we'll have the mob slaughter factory. Um, we'll make sure it, it should have, yeah, we throw all of its upgrades in there. And make sure that everything is defined. We want this to be pushing, this to be pushing. Perfect. We'll slap these on here. And then I just gotta get my tank set back up. Um, and then we'll let this, let this store for right now. Let's see, let's pop down here. Actually, we can turn into a bat. I always forget that I have the morphs. Um, so yeah, we can go ahead and convert into this. Perfect. So we have our tanks, we have our fluid. Um, we just need to give this some power. This needs to be on the out network and we're good to go. It's gonna start killing the mobs. Um, and if they do make it over here, then you know it'll end up being killed in this, this setup. Um, but this right here now has our mob slaughter factory back up and running and we should be getting pink slime before long. Now I believe you get more pink slime if you're using a passive farm. So if they're passive animals, you will get more pink slime. That's that's what I've seen from me using all of the uh, using all these mods over time. Now these guys are building up, and uh, well, we need to make a new mob farm. So mob, there's a, there's another type of mob grinder that is going to give us experience in a different kind of form. So let's hop into industrial foregoing and a good old fashioned mob grinder or crusher, mob crusher. This is gonna require advanced machine frame. So, um, getting into the frames, this is gonna require some auto crafting. Uh, let's do frame, perfect. So at the moment we have the pity machine frame, I believe, that is already automated, ready to go. Um, we have this one, which requires a latex. I'm pretty sure we have auto craft, yeah, on that. But we do not have auto craft on this. So this is the next tier, which is the advanced. And as you can see, it requires pink slime. So that's why I had pink slime stored in our network here. And we do have 107 buckets, not a whole lot, but it'll get the job done for now. Um, that's plenty for the amount that we're gonna be needing. Um, and then all I have to do is pop down here and put that in there and we should have this on craft. So if I craft one, Yep, it should fit right in there and we're good to go. Now, there's a reason why I have three of them. I know I got a lot of questions. Why don't you just put it on one? Well, the reason is, is what if I need to craft a bunch of them? Like 64, for example, then I would probably need all of these. This one will eventually be ether. Um, yeah, I would eventually need all of these at some point. I don't know. I could have set it up on one, but, you know, I'm, I'm sometimes I like to overdo it. So now that I have a beautiful mob crusher, I can also get myself a point. Um, so this is going to need power. Now, it's going to be set up almost identical to how we set the other one up. Um, this is going to go here. We're going to need our range upgrades and everything on it. Pop this on here. But that's out. Um, I don't remember what range. What range did we use for this? Go ahead and grab this. Uh, we used a tier five. So let's do a tier five, make that real quick. Um, and then uh, all we need is some place to store liquid. We need to store the, the essence 
and make it accessible. And then we also need a place for the item itself. Okay, so we have this. Um, and I also want to make this fast. So I do want all the upgrades. So we'll get those made up. And this is going to be a pretty nice farm. Like it's going to be farming this stuff pretty successfully. Now that I've added the range, it's going to start collecting the items and essence. So I'm going to need a place for this pretty quickly, especially when we start speeding it up. Cause like it goes pretty quickly. Once it's sped up, look at all that essence it's building up. So I decided to go ahead and make an advanced black hole tank and set that up for auto crafting. This bad boy stores 65,000 buckets of a fluid, which is pretty decent for getting started. Um, it does, however, require this that we just set up auto crafting, that advanced machine frame. So it does take a little bit of time to craft. Um, I don't know. Did I ever put upgrades in all of these? I did not. I'm definitely gonna need to make some more upgrades. So yet again, I'm gonna use the item transporters and I'm gonna have this going into our inner chest that's connected to our refined storage system and then our fluid tank here. And then I just need to set this to say, hey, take those. And then I believe I can put glowstone on these. I believe it was glowstone. This is no add-ons. Oh no, I just added a filter to that, didn't I? Huh, is it redstone? or glowstone blocks. I thought there was a way to upgrade these, but I could be wrong. So I had to look in the book, but I did figure out what you actually click on here and it's the speed upgrades. So you insert the speed upgrades and it'll tell you what you have in there. Um, so yeah, that's actually working. It actually seems like the fluid essence is uh, the one that's going a bit slower. Um, so let's see, did that export first? No, so once I get some speed upgrades, efficiency, I believe, also works. So it's speed and efficiency. And so as you get both of those in there, yeah, it, 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 sh it shows it here. But by the way, I don't know how you get them out other than like clicking the whole thing off. But yeah, that's that's how it's done. So I'm back in my office. I know it's it's been a little bit since I've been in my office here, but uh, Right here is three machines that I definitely need to be using that uh, involve all of that experience. So um, these, this, this one right here definitely uses up some experience. The extractor does not. Um, I don't actually know if it can pull fluid. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, enchanted items. Okay, so we can actually transform enchanted books into essence. Um, so that's why that tanks there. And then we have the applicator, which also uses the fluid. So in the back, I can, of course, give these things some power. But when it comes to the fluid, I want to definitely be able to use those wireless nodes. Those nodes are so good um, from Cyclic. So let's see. Um, I think they're just, yeah, just a node, right? So I'm going to need a fluid transfer. I'm going to need a couple of fluid transfer nodes, actually. Um, just two. Just two. I think that'll be plenty. And let me go ahead and get a travel wand. I don't know why I keep removing this, but it's my backpack. It is my backpack. Of course it is. There we go. <laughs> so now I can go through walls. Um, so how do I want to set this up? Um, so at the moment we have just this top output. Um, the thing I could do is I could move this here. Which probably be the better solution to this whole thing. Um, that way it'll give us a bit more room. So I'll just move it here. And then down below, we'll be sure to plop these in. Make sure that's selected. Drop the add-ons on. Add on here. Add on here. Nice and speedy. Um, and then we're going to do the same sort of setup. But uh, I'm going to have one here. And this actually might get moved. To there, <laughs> that way I can place two of these fluid nodes. Uh, actually, I can place one here and one here. You know what? And keep that where it was at. Perfect. So yeah, all I'm gonna need is some trans locate or fluid translocators. Dust for going. 
So yeah, I'll end up popping one on here and here, and here and here, and that should be nice and even. As far as getting fluid into these. Perfect. And they're gonna start to fill up. And uh, all I gotta do is get my GPS. Get two of those. And we're ready to go. I mean, we're about to start enchanting some stuff, like serious enchanting. So we'll save that and that. And here we go. Throw that in there. And in there. And uh, this now has, I mean, this still has a lot of fluid in it. These are actually transferring really slow. Um, so that's where that speed is really going to come in handy on these. Definitely upgrading. I could have used pipes. Don't get me wrong. Pipes definitely work. Let's tack on a speed there and a speed there. Speed there. And that should start to fill up a bit faster because I want this to be really fast. And um, we might have to add a bit more, a few more of the add-ons later on. Oh, goodness. But yeah, as you can see, it's starting to build up. Perfect. So yeah, they're both filled up, ready to go. This is actually the enchantment applicator um, is actually great for uh, later on. Or the enchantment factory is great for later on. We're going to be using this elsewhere. So yeah, all I got to do is pop some holes in the back. And uh, place my points. I guess I might as well use these points. By the way, if you're using multiple points, um, this is a little tip for this actual mod um, for the Flux Networks. You can make yourself a Flux Configurator. And let's just go ahead and place one down. I'm going to configure it, right? It's ready to go. I'm going to shift right click on this, place down two others, and then just right click, and it actually pastes the network configuration onto those. So you don't have to keep uh, doing it over and over again. Really handy. So to get this started, I have all of this set up here. Um, I have some barrels so we can get some automation going, uh, but all I need is some books. Like at the moment I do have like enchanted books, um, which I actually wonder if I was to have this turned into essence. What is this? Does this actually produce essence? No, no, it doesn't. But as you can see, the book goes down here. Okay, so good. <laughs> so I do want books up here because I want books to be able to go into here. Apparently, this also means books go into this. Um, no, I'll turn that off. Yeah, I want books to go in here automatically, but I don't want the items to go in here automatically. Um, and I think that's it. Over here. Um, we want books to go in here to be enchanted. Um, so if I throw a book in here, it's going to automatically try to do a level 30 enchant. So this is where a lot of our essence is probably going to disappear to. Um, but this is going to kind of give me a nice amount of enchants to work with. Um, for one, I need enchants on not this gear, but I believe we can put enchants. Yeah, on, on our gear. Um, can I put project E... Can I put it on uh, this gear? Can this accept enchants? So we can accept blessings or active gloom. Uh, I mean, it can accept some things. Traveler, thorns, blessing, shadow step, multi step. Man, it doesn't get the one thing that I really want. Um, there's an enchant that will let me fly. Um. And when I break blocks, it makes it easier to block. It's like, I think it's called air affinity. Yeah. And I'm not seeing it. Shadow steps kind of nice. Okay. So, you know, I can't enchant those things, but I definitely can enchant my staff. And this is going to make getting those enchants a little bit easier. Now, one other thing I'm definitely going to need enchantment library. Oh boy. Um, it's a bit expensive. I think it does require these hell shelves. Can I make those? It requires some regeneration. Also, I don't think I have any bookshelves learned. Um, planks. I've never taught my system bookshelves. Well, now, now I can. Um, so yeah, hell shelves. Um, the one thing I'm going to need. Potion of regeneration. So gas tier and awkward potions. Perfect. I have my potions of regeneration. Luckily, they have EMC associated to them. So 
apotheosis should be pretty easy for us to make hell shelves and then to make ourselves an enchantment library and uh you're about to find out how insanely powerful this enchantment library is so we can place that over here i have my books let's just say right over here i've kind of run out of essence at the moment um but you can see all of these different enchants on these books it's just insane there's so many different enchants well let's just go ahead and uh you know toss them in here because this shelf allows us to stick a book or a tool inside here. And I don't think you can do a tool, but you can definitely do a book. For example, um, like this book. So you place your book in, I think you can, or does it generate a book for you? Oh, it just generates a book for you. So yeah, you just start, you know, throwing in your enchants. And as you can see, it puts all those enchants on there. Um, and then you just toss it back in whenever you don't want it. I mean, it's, it's that simple. <laughs> this enchantment library from Apotheosis is just insane. I, I love it so much. So while we're doing all these enchants and stuff, I might as well make the best armor the game has to offer. Uh, in my opinion, I think this is the best armor. We could have made it a long time ago just because it's just simply using EMC. Um, but yeah, this right here is like the soul gem. Um, I just have to go through and make red matter gear. All the different red matter gear. I wonder how expensive this is. Like this is um, 29. Oh yeah, we have plenty. That's like less than 100,000 or right under 100,000 per se. EMC. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this all made. And this armor basically makes you, I would say nearly invincible. Like um, it's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> How powerful this gear actually is and in combination with draconic evolution and just like this i now have gym armor <laughs> oh goodness yeah gym armor is pretty uh pretty powerful in uh in what it can do first of all it's incredibly fast um the speed i don't know how much i like that but yeah we also have flight but we also have this boost thing that we can do um, so it also has like a jetpack mode by default. So this is like the jetpack. Um, but if you double tap, you get into this mode. Um, I think holding the only issue with this armor is when you're in flight mode and you hold shift in air doesn't work. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's a way to disable the jetpack. Thing. So some really cool things about this armor. I mean, other than the fact that it's not the greatest set for building. If you do want to build, take off the pants. Um, I believe. Yeah, and then you can. You don't have that jetpack enabled feature. So you do have to take off the pants for that to, to work. You also don't have that annoying sound anymore. As you hear, no more sound. Um, you don't have to eat. I'm pretty sure I stay 100% saturated because of the uh, the chest piece. Um, so no longer needing to eat. That is pretty crazy. Also, we walk on water and we walk on, um, well, we kind of walk on water. I think we're sort of flying, but still when you go on water, you get a speed boost. Um, and I believe it also happens on lava. So that's a pretty cool thing. I also don't believe we take any water breathing damage. <laughs> So, uh, we never run out of breath. Um, the, just the gym armor is pretty quick or pretty sick. Also, if I hit shift X, that's my current keybinds. I can toggle on and off night vision, which is really handy as you can see. Um, and yeah, so that's gym armor. Pretty, pretty sick. It's a pretty uh, nice armor set. Don't get me wrong. Um, and it, it's, it looks like it's kind of weak um in the armor rating but i can tell you like we're probably not going to take much damage at all um i also went ahead and upgraded this so i have shield modules in here i didn't uh i only put one speed module in here um we might need more of those like we might need more speed to be able to catch this dragon later on um so we'll see but at the moment i have all of these in here and uh just i was just sort of testing things out the, the shield recharges really fast now. And that's if anything gets past the shield. 
it, then it will finally start to mess with our armor and I our armor doesn't even take damage by the way it's it's just gets insane so I do want to do a quick test um I've been working on a few things uh while I've been kind of waiting for enchants to build up uh let's see crystals I need four of these we are going to refight the dragon as you can see um shouldn't be too difficult to do um I just want to put a few tests on here so at the moment I have my my bow ready to go. Don't quite know if this is great. I mean, there's a few things right here. We have gravity cancellation increase, penetration, base damage is almost 200% with a speed of 150%. Um, I do have auto fire on, but notice that we do have that buff of uh, base damage being almost 200%. Well, there's a quiver as well that also gives me an increase of 50% arrow damage. Not quite sure if that actually is effective as far as uh, the Draconic Bow goes, but we also don't have any, um, we don't have any major enchants on this bow either. Um, and this thing actually accepts, you know, all the standard enchants like infinity, which is definitely need to get infinity on here. But at the moment we don't, I am going to go ahead and head to the end portal. And uh, well, we're gonna try this out. Let's go ahead and spawn in this dragon. It's so weird. I'm still having this strange issue where these keep regenerating on top of each other. I have no idea what's causing that, but I do want to test out my bow. Wow. Okay. I mean, yeah, this bow's pretty effective against the dragon. Pretty effective. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And, uh, yeah, I'd say that's a dead dragon there. Pretty sick. Okay. Um, <laughs> by the way, if you're also wondering how am I picking up, um, all these things from so far away, um, I did go ahead and make the, where's it at? I did go ahead and make the, uh, the item dislocator. So that is pretty nice. Wow. Okay. That killed the dragon incredibly fast. I was not expecting <laughs> that, honestly. Okay, um, I also added speed to this because I noticed whenever I would punch Right it would uh, it would take a while for it to pull back which means uh, the damage Wasn't going to be at its max So now it uh, it revives itself very quickly So yeah, this thing this thing also would probably killed quite easily as well. I mean it only does 300 some odd damage also our bow kills Enderman Yeah, believe it or not it doesn't have like a, a homing feature, but it does it does kill Enderman, which is kind of crazy. So as I wait for all of the enchants to sort of build up over time, I think next episode, while that's happening, oh boy, we are gonna work on creating our our own custom dimensions with RF tools dimensions. Yes, we are officially going to be getting into that mod. Gonna be kind of fun. And we might find out that our power that we currently have might not be enough but there is going to be workarounds and of course guys i hope you enjoyed today's video of course i do however want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video and that huge thanks is going to go to if i can spell thanks right cerulio i think i said that right thank you so much for your amazing support um, over on the discord and of course guys if you are interested in becoming a discord supporter or discord premium member yourself you can go to discord.gg forward slash shows and architect but while you're there or while you're checking out all the links down in the description you might as well check out my twitch live stream i do live stream over on twitch over uh as of right now it's two days a week on tuesdays and thursdays so be sure to check that out um we actually just created some really interesting things over there last stream so uh I uh, might actually uh, be implementing that into this and showing it off. It'd be kind of cool. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.